Nicotium is my company. It has two uh, different, uh, let's say, uh, levels of operation. One is uh, the, pro the productive side, where I act as a, as a grower, uh, renting vineyards or uh, selecting uh, grapes from different uh, uh, places, different sites, different terroirs. And uh, I make this at different levels. I make for uh, entry-level wines, for daily drinking style. But I make it also for some very special cuvee from some very special terroir which I would like to put in bottles and uh, let's say mm, uh, keep uh, in, in its own uh, character and personality. So we make a lot of uh, small bottlings and that's my, my passion of course, what I, what I like to do and what I'm uh, very involved in doing. Then of, as, a, as an accounting company we are also involved in uh, in the commercial uh, part of the business and I'm in charge for a lot of estates, uh, small growers normally, to, to export their wines, to be you know, able to place properly their wines, to find good customers all over the world. And all these estates are uh, of small size, very much terroir driven and uh, normally um, they, they share my philosophy in, in winemaking. Uh, we, what we make with these two wines, I mean the Nicotium uh, Pinot Grigio and the Nicotium Chardonnay, uh, uh, these are two entry-level wines, they're daily drinking wines. What I try to do is to source very, very good grapes from, uh, from different um, appellations. So I have a part of which is Coliorentali, hillside, uh, where I can find my, you know, full body style and then I have Isonzo uh, which is a flat area uh, uh, which is very interesting for uh, wines with, um, with a good uh, freshness, with a lighter fruit. So I try to blend different sources to, to be able to create a wine which is consistently good at a reasonable price. Uh, I think it is important to show also a, a certain kind of uh, quality character also in, in simple wines and uh, I do this with, with, uh, with Pinot Grigio since uh, uh, quite a long, long time ago and I produce quite a good amount of that and uh, we start now to do that also for the Chardonnay and uh, this is also a project that we share with, with Dai because that's something we wanted to do and we have tried to do since some time ago and uh, this is the first release in a sense of this wine but the concept is very much the same so fresh wines uh, they, they don't see any oak, they ferment just in inox and they, are, uh, they have no malolactic fermentation so we can keep a bit of uh, acidity and drinkability, uh, full fruit expression uh, and then uh, I think these wines are for, uh, for medium term, of course, aging, so we don't expect these to be wines for cellaring, you know. <laughs> But uh, we are trying to be uh, very serious in this because we think also that starting uh, giving also good feedback to the customer for entry level wines uh, gives more trust for the top cuvées in the future. So that's my philosophy in a sense. Yeah.